Okay, now I'm going to solve a very comprehensive question. Okay, in this question, the stream function is given as x square plus y square plus 2, and this is an implicit incompressible flow. Okay, the first part of the question is asking me to test whether the conservation of mass is satisfied, or in parentheses, the same thing means is this physically possible flow. Okay, part B is if this is satisfied, then go ahead and find me the velocity potential. And the third part of the question is, what is the pressure gradient in the horizontal x direction at the origin? To solve this question, first I will find u and v values. Okay, This is the relationship between the stream function and the velocities in the x and y directions. If I go ahead and insert my stream function, x squared plus y squared plus 2, this will give me 2y, right? That will be my velocity in the x direction. In a similar logic, let's do minus del del x of x squared plus y squared plus 2, and I will get myself minus 2x, right? That's my velocity in the y direction, okay? So the conservation of mass for incompressible flow will be del u del x plus del v del y plus del w del z is equal to zero. Okay, so then I'm going to insert u, v, and w, which w is zero, into the equation del x of 2y plus del del y of minus 2x. Is it really equal to zero? Okay, so this term is zero. You can see here that the first term is not a function of x and the second term is not a function of y, so I got myself zero plus zero is equal to zero. So yes, part A, the answer is conservation of mass is satisfied and this is a physically possible flow. Please note that in part A, I don't have to go through this process. As I'm giving the stream function, the stream function automatically satisfies the conservation of mass equation, okay? However, I want to show you the steps to you. In the second part of this question, I will need to find the velocity potential if possible, okay? Before I find my velocity potential, I have to find out whether this flow is in rotation or not, okay? In order to do that, I will go ahead and calculate del u del y is it really equal to del v del x. The other two components will be satisfied for 2D flow. So I will have to copy uh, my x and y's from here. So basically, del del y of 2y is it really equal to del del x of minus 2x, okay? The left hand side becomes obviously 2, the right hand side becomes minus 2. So this is not the case, not irrotational and the velocity potential does not exist. Okay, in the last component of this question, let's, let's find out what the question is asking me. It's asking me, what is the pressure gradient in the horizontal x direction at the origin? Origin is defined as 0, 0, right? Um, the important point here is what is the pressure gradient? What does that mean? Okay, so we really need to know what it means, okay? The pressure gradient means it is del P, del X. It's saying that it's a horizontal and it's in the X direction, right? The question is can I find this del P, del X by using the Bernoulli's equation, okay? So the answer is no, actually. I cannot find del P, del X because the Bernoulli's equation gives me the relation between two pressure values. It doesn't give me the rate of change of pressure in a particular direction, okay? But I'll, I also want you to note that I can't even use it, the Bernoulli's equation, between any two points because, as we find out in part B of the question, this is not an irrotational flow. So what I do have to do is I do have to use my Euler's equation in the x direction, okay? The Euler's equation in the x direction is written like this, rho del u del t plus u del u del x plus v del u del y plus w del u del z is equal to rho gx minus del p del x. And you can see here the last term that I write on the right hand side is what I'm being asked to find, okay? So I want to go up over here. So let's find it. U is 2y, y is minus 2x. U is equal to 2y, v is equal to minus 2x. 
And now let's go ahead and insert it over here. So the first term becomes zero because it's steady. Okay. In the second term, my del u del x will be zero because u is not a function of x. In the third term, now I do get something. Okay. Del u del y is going to be two, right? The rate of change of two uh, y in the y direction is two, right? And v is minus two x. Okay. And let's look at the last term w is zero, so this drops out. Okay, the question told me that this is a horizontal, so gx is zero, so I will get rid of that as well. So what I do get is I, I got myself a minus 4x is equal to minus del p del x. And from here, I get myself del p del x is equal to 4x. However, the question is asking me to find the pressure gradient at 0, 0, uh, that is the origin. So in this particular case, del p del x becomes zero. What it means is that the rate of change of pressure in the x direction at the origin is zero.